welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then thank you so much for joining us. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get Evening Primrose really fast and an infinite Evening Primrose source. Also, I'll be showing you eight recipes that you can make using Evening Primrose and the boosts or stats that they give you. So it's, this one's going to be awesome. I'm super excited to show you. Okay, let's get started. So first you wanna open up your map and under Redwoods, go to this little spot over here under Misty Jungle. And then at nighttime, you have to wait till nighttime. And right next to this little trailer to your right, they'll spawn in these exact spots over and over and over. All you have to do is run back and forth and get them. I'm, just, I'm gonna show it to you in real time so that you can see how many you can get and how fast. Periodically, I'll drop my turret in case wolves or zombies come so it doesn't interfere with me running back and forth. Ugh, I do not know this person. Periodically, you'll have to deal with these people. <laughs> He's not even gathering them. He's just being obnoxious. I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping if I ignore him, he'll just go away. <laughs> oh, that was kind of helpful. I think now he's trying to gather them. I think he's catching on. Ugh, yeah. Oh, so annoying. I swear, every time I'm making a video, something wants to get in the way of it. I swear. It's either stupid zombies or stupid people. <laughs> oh, hey, he's gone. Maybe, maybe it's over now. Never mind. There he is. Ugh. Oh my god, total stalker for real. <laughs> okay, he's on his bike. He's gonna leave finally. Yay, he's gone. Okay, so anyway, back to it. As you can see, these spawn. As soon as you gather one, the other one pops up on the other side. And it just keeps doing that. And so you could just come back here like every single night and gather them over and over and over until you have as many as you want. It's really, really amazing. I was so stoked about this because, like, you usually have to run around all over the forest and maybe find one or two if you're lucky. And then here, you can just gather them forever if you want to, which is just awesome. Because I like the food that you can make with it. Some of them have really great stat boosts and stuff like that. A couple of them have none, but most of them have pretty good stuff. So, uh, after this, I'm going to show you those recipes. Seeing things, check. Conscious and aware, check. All good. Alright, yeah, so now it's daytime. They're not spawning anymore. I'm just going to do a quick look around so that you guys could see this location better. So you'll know when you arrive. Alright, so now I'm going to go pop back over to my homestead and show you guys those recipes. So here we are. We're going to start off with number one floral tomato cake it has strength plus 30 which is awesome <laughs> it 
This is what it looks like in your recipe book, and these are the foods it takes to make it. Number two is going to be flour vegetable noodles. It has no stat boosts, boost, sadly, but it's pretty looking. Here it is in your recipe book, and this is what it takes to make it. Next is number three, floral honey kebabs, and it's strength plus 27. This is what it looks like in your recipe book, and these are its ingredients. Number four is floral fruit smoothie, and it has damage reduction against zombies, 7.5%. These are the ingredients that it takes to make it. Number five is going to be flour vegetable salad. Sadly, again, this one has no stat boosts, but it is pretty. You should still make the ones with no boosts so you could have them in your collection. Number six is going to be flour mushroom salad. It has armor plus 17. Here it is in your recipe book, and these are its ingredients. Number seven is petal pumpkin soup. And it has skill strength resistance plus 42, which is so much. It's awesome. I like that one a lot. These are its ingredients. And finally, number eight is flower fruit pudding. And it has damage reduction against humans, 7.5%. These are its ingredients. All right, guys, that's the end of this one. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more of my videos. I upload a new one every day, sometimes more. And I've just started over with my social media. Uh, I have included the links down below. If you go subscribe or whatever, then you'll probably be one of the first ones because it's that new. Like, I literally just put it up a couple days ago. Jen's helping me with it because um, it's a lot of work. So, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. But in the meantime, just know that I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!